Smoking is dumb. Hello, I'm Anthony, and today I'll be unboxing one of these. This is an Aerotank Mega by Kanger Tech. Uh, it is a um, it is a uh, clearomizer, um, much like I have here. Actually, it's the exact same one. Uh, I bought a second one because this one is currently cracked. That's not to say anything about the quality of this one. It's got a small chip in it after being dropped 20 or 30 feet and then rolling for a good 50 feet after that. So I think all in all, this has actually been a very good tank and it's still perfectly functional. Uh, I am, however, scared because of how thin the wall is at its deepest point that it may become less than uh, less than functional at some point. So I did get another one because I really do like this uh, setup. The um, the coils in it are relatively cheap. I could pick those up a dime a dozen. Um, okay, maybe not that cheap, but I think it's like uh, for five coils, it's like two dollars or something. It's really cheap. And a coil lasts about a week. Sometimes I can stretch them into two weeks. Um, okay, so um, right around the edges, you will notice there is a tab where you can pull. And we're going to go ahead and open that. All right, we're going to slip that out of there. Okay. With Kanger Tech, I really like the, the box that it comes in. It's very sleek, it's very nice, um, and it should pop right out. Of course, this one's going to be a little bit of a bugger, and it's not going to want to. So this one actually did get stuck. I had to sit here and I had to fiddle with it for a little while. But after I unstuck it, uh, due to some, uh, looks like, adhesive on the inside, um, I was able to get it out. Now, included in the Kanger Tech Clearomizer, you get everything here, which consists of the main base unit. Now that's going to be this up top, this is the mouthpiece. We also have this, which when you take it apart, you've got one of you've got one coil. I believe this comes packed with the 1.2 ohm coils. 1.2 ohm dual coil. Yes. Um which is a perfectly fine. I prefer the 0.08 because you get better vapor production and, in my personal opinion, better flavor from your uh, from your vapor. Um, some people will argue with me, and, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, one of the great parts about vaping is that everyone has their own way of doing things. And then you actually have your tank. Now your tank you can disassemble if you'd like. Um, it's fairly easy. Um, as you've filled it with liquid, it gets a little bit harder because of some of the sugars uh, in the tank. Uh, it'll kind of gum things up. You can always take care of that with some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, um, grain alcohol, pure grain alcohol. Um, if you're really, really cheap, you could just get some, um, uh, you just get some really cheap vodka or something. <laughs> But as long as it's pure grain alcohol, you don't want to use like isopropyl alcohol or anything. That'll kill you. But um, you, you can put all that back together. Uh, another thing I really like about this tank is the fact that it's got a an airflow control. The airflow control allows you to limit the amount of air going through it so that you can uh, control the kind of vapor that you're getting whether it be large amounts, small amounts, and, and how much air is actually getting in versus how much uh, actual vapor. So, that being said, we also get our, whoo, uh, we 
also get our guide here. Okay. Now, one of the really cool and interesting parts about this is um, there is an extra coil right here. There's also the metal tank. Now, this metal tank um, would have saved me from being able or having to buy the glass tank or, or the replacement. Unfortunately, I have no idea what happened to my last metal tank. So I will, I will keep this. Uh, and we also have this. Now this is an adapter, so that if you're using a smaller, um, uh, a smaller um, uh, setup, you can have it tapered, like so. Don't know how well that's picking it up. Um. It's, it's nice, I, I, I like that feature, I've never used it, but if I ever changed mods to a, be a thinner mod, I may. Um, just for aesthetic purposes. Um, but yeah, this is a, a solid um, clear miser tank, or clear atomizer tank, depending on how you want to put that. Um, in the end, it's really all the same, no matter what name you want to call it by. Um, I have been using this tank now for four or five months, and I have zero complaints. Every so often, it seems that I'll get a set of coils that don't last quite as long as the rest. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'll get anywhere between a week and a week and a half out of a coil. Uh, these are dual coil uh, setups. Uh, Sometimes, uh, if I get a week, I'm lucky. I, I've got kind of a burnt taste by a week. Uh, or uh, the, the coils have burned through to the point where I have... Um, uh, or I, I, the coils have burned through to the point that I... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is why... Yeah, yeah, it's WWW. The coils have burned through to the point that uh, I have actually got liquid dripping down into the mod, which is not good. Um, but that's that's few and far between. I haven't had a whole lot of that. But yeah, so that is the Kanger Tech Clear Atomizer series. Uh, I, I really do like uh, this uh, this mod. Um, it's very versatile, it's very nice, um, and uh, also I, I like the clear measures because I can see how much liquid I have left in my system, my setup. Uh, if you have any experience with this, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, so till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please. Yay!